Okay, I, I'm going to do a poem uh, which was inspired by my landlady. <laughs> <laughs> I wrote it today, so bear with me. I was in the shower for a quarter of an hour, scrubbing very efficiently with my scour. When the doorbell was rung by a pamper inhibitor, I'd have to get dressed before addressing my visitor. It was the man next door. He was extremely irate. It seems he was annoyed by the half an hour wait that had passed while I evacuated the shower. Really, to have done my hair and makeup done in half an hour was no easy task. He looked like he'd swallowed a pessary. I suppose curling my hair was slightly unnecessary. <laughs> <laughs> he had come, he began, to make the offer of a payout. He was, it seems, distressed by our semi-detached layout. My bathroom, you see, hung over his yard. And with all the time I spent in there, he was finding it hard to relax in his garden, his kitchen, or his bed, while I was singing relentlessly, rinsing bubbles from my head. <laughs> the extractor fan, he said, was driving him balmy. He was ranting and raving, his manner did alarm me. I said, if it was in my power, I'd arrange that my shower was situated in a less convenient area. But alas, it is as the Victorians had designed it. I invited him in for a tipple. He ungratefully declined it. One late afternoon, on returning home from work, I saw my neighbour leaving the road on his face a broad smirk. I smiled back sweetly, polite, though suspicious. On approaching my street, I realised why that man was judicious. The rear of my house, where the bathroom was located, had completely vanished, like it had been amputated. I kicked and screamed, I stamped and swore, I earned and ground, I grabbed, I tore. The bastard! I screamed. I was livid. With... And so, <laughs> and after my sweaty tantrum, I needed a shower. <laughs>